While we wait on a potential vaccine, doctors are now turning to experimental treatments to save patients. But many of them don't know there's one showing promise in healing some of the sickest people. It is called hyperbaric oxygen therapy, and it could really be a game changer. Dwayne Pullman investigates whether it really works and why it isn't being used more often. From Louisiana, the results thus far are pretty impressive. To Long Island, I would say I'm, I'm I'm encouraged that you know hyperbaric oxygen could could be a benefit. And more than a dozen other hospitals across the U.S., early studies are revealing hyperbaric oxygen therapy, or HBOT, is saving the lives of critically ill COVID-19 patients. Is HBOT working for COVID-19 patients? Yes, it appears to be. Dr. Paul Harch, the director of hyperbaric medicine at LSU in New Orleans, founded HBOT.com. In the early days of COVID-19, Dr. Harch worked with Chinese doctors who published this study, revealing HBOT helped dozens of COVID-19 patients avoid ventilators and recover from the virus. The science is there to argue for hyperbaric oxygen for coronavirus. But the Food and Drug Administration continues to warn against using HBOT for anything other than 14 approved conditions, ranging from treating decompression sickness to healing burns and other wounds. The reason? FDA scientists say there's a lack of rigorous studies proving HBOT works as a treatment for other conditions. At New York University Langone Health, our hope is that through doing this in a rigorous way, we can try to overcome uh, sort of the stigma around hyperbaric therapy. Two doctors teamed up to conduct a rigorous case control study comparing coronavirus patients who received HBOT in these chambers at NYU Winthrop Hospital with patients who did not. The results are under review for publication, but what they found is stunning. Of 60 patients who did not receive HBOT, 30 or half needed to be placed on ventilators. 13 died. That's a mortality rate of 22%. Meanwhile, 20 patients did receive HBOT. Only two of them were placed on ventilators and two died. Still tragic, but a much lower mortality rate of 10%. It's small numbers, but the findings suggest that Hyperbaric oxygen therapy could reduce the mortality of this disease by half. As a layman who's not a scientist, that seems to me I'd look at it and say, wow, that worked. While these results are promising, what it really means is that we need to do a larger trial. But a big study will take time and cost big money. A tough sell for a treatment that isn't a drug. Getting funding for these types of trials is difficult because there's no big pharmaceutical company that has a, a large profit. Um, and that, that's just the way, the way the world is right now. Hey, look, if other people are doing it, let's collect more data. Dr. Thomas Serena, founder and medical director of a company that specializes in wound care and HBOT, is collecting that data from doctors across the country who are using HBOT on COVID-19 patients. Already, he's seeing a remarkable recovery rate. How often does it work? It seems to work in 80%, 80-90% range. Yet the goal of getting more COVID-19 patients into these hyperbaric chambers remains elusive. So many doctors, I believe, are not even aware of it. As science tries to catch up. What if we find out that hyperbarics works? And the pandemic continues to rage. We've never seen anything like this before. I'm Dwayne Pullman, Local 12 News.